Okay, welcome back to mathematicsclass.org. We're looking at the January 2020 CSEC Maths Pass paper. Previously, I'd given some of my personal tips to manage your time in the exam. Then I used seven minutes to read over some of the questions that will be coming later in this paper. We looked from question 10 back down to question 6. What we're going to start doing is actually answering the question starting from question 1 going forward. Question 1 here, it says using a calculator or otherwise calculate the exact and you see they put exact in full caps full capital letters exact value of the following you have four and one fifth times one third minus one and a quarter all right I've already copied it here all right four and one fifth times one third minus one and a quarter okay so just before I delete this, remember, you have two, at least two ORGs to visit. There's your cxc.org, that's the official CXC website, and then you have mathematicsclass.org, that's for your mathematics classes all the material all the um past papers and lessons for your maths class for you to prepare for your exam all right so let's look at this using a calculator or otherwise calculate the exact value of the following now remember in the exam you work with the time and you keep moving but for the purposes of what I will be doing here I will be taking more time than that just for the sake of explanation as I go through these past papers alright so I'll be even though I said with the strategy before you could give yourself 15 minutes per question or 10 minutes per question and enough time to go back over questions that you have not finished or to finish up work that you haven't finished before I'm not going to be watching the clock in actually going through these past papers alright be taking time so here four and one fifth multiplied by one and by one third minus one and a quarter you do your multiplication first and you have an a mixed fraction here okay what you'll do is turn the mixed fractions into improper fractions so to turn four and one fifth into an improper fraction you have your four and one fifth Say four times five times four is twenty plus one twenty one. So you have twenty one fifth. And remember, you should uh, before I do anything more, you should attempt all of these questions before you actually watch these videos. All right, and you should also go through the lessons on the topics particularly and in this example the lesson on fractions so you understand exactly what's going on here all right so four and one fifth is really 21 fifth and you multiply by one third so here you can do your multiplication directly but I realize that you could cancel down and get some smaller numbers. 
we're not going to touch the minus one and a quarter just yet let's leave it out for a minute so three to three one there is one tree in three good how many trees are there in 21 seven so this becomes a seven fifth multiplied by one over one which is just seven fifth so this part is your seven fifth so let's put the seven fifth here and then we're ready for the minus one and a quarter minus one and a quarter but then minus one and a quarter is a mixed fraction i want it as an improper fraction four ones four and one five so that's it oh this is five fourth five quarters all right one and one quarter is really five quarters so <coughs> you have seven fifth minus five quarters and then since you have seven fifth minus five quarters here you can find the LCM of five and four it is 20 5 into 20 goes four times 4 by 7s, 28, minus 4 into 25, 5, 5, 25. So 28 minus 25 is going to be 3 20 3 20th. Alright? Now, we have this as our answer here. Let's just look back at something as a small a quick small explanation as to how we got the four and one fifth to seven fifth all right let's do it over here four and one fifth is really four holes plus one fifth but how did we get the seven fifth right remember no not seven fifth the twenty one fifth I mean miss my mistake we had four and one fifth become twenty one fifth when we turn the mixed fraction into improper fraction we said five fours twenty plus one twenty one how did we get the four and one fifth to become twenty one fifth? Of course, as I said, we multiplied five by four to get twenty and add one to it to get twenty one. But we want some depth of understanding here to understand it more intuitively. What we have is four holes. That's one, two, three, four. That's a four hole. Plus one fifth. Because four and one fifth is really four plus one fifth. No. Twenty one fifth means we want everything as fifth. So we have this into five equal parts. This into one, two, three, four, five equal parts this into five e one two three four five equal parts and this into two three four five equal parts so we have five fifth here plus five fifth plus five fifth plus five fifth that's twenty fifth plus one more fifth so we have twenty one fifth all right just a quick look at how it works and then we had seven fifth minus five fourths and we added we subtracted it to become three twenty one just one more explanation I want to look at what's another way of doing this other than drawing the line and finding the LCM and we're getting three twentieth all right so just just to quickly redo this in another way this is seven fifths 
and we want to subtract 5 fourths what we wanted what we tried to do in or what we will try to do is get the same denominators so 7 fifths minus 5 quarters if we multiply 5 by 4 we get a certain number 20 so something over 20 minus if you multiply 4 by 5 we get something over 20 all right if we multiply by 4 under here we multiply by 4 above here too so it's 7 4 is 28 if we multiply by 4 by 5 under here we multiply by 5 up here too so you get 25 so 25 of something minus 20 no 28 of something minus 25 of that thing leaves you 3 of it is 28 of 20 minus 25 of 20 so 28 20th minus 25 20th will give you 3 20th so we still have our 3 20th but anyway it's just a matter of playing around with that that part of the question and then what we'll do is move on to the next part of um question one next time so i'll see you then